Well, the talent of a photographer born and raised in West Baltimore once again graces the cover of Time magazine. WMAR 2 News' Dave Detling sat down with the visual artist and has more on what makes this cover photo so important. Well, this is the second time Devin Allen's work has appeared on the cover of Time magazine. First for a protest during the Freddie Gray riots, now for a Black Trans Lives Matter protest. Yeah, this is the actual lens that I shot it with. Photographer Devin Allen shows off the camera that helped him capture another powerful Baltimore City moment that would soon serve as the cover photo for Time magazine. The black and white photograph features last week's Black Trans Lives Matter protest. My biggest thing is if we say Black Lives Matter, I'm coming to every protest. And my biggest thing is as an artist, as a, as a black artist, um, I have to reflect the times that surround me. Allen is no stranger to capturing the moments unfolding around him. In 2015, while covering the Freddie Gray riots, he captured this photograph, which caught the attention of the editorial staff at Time magazine. It wound up on the cover. Fast forward to today, and he's done it again, this time with the George Floyd movement and the protests that have emerged from it. I felt that as a straight black man, I need to be there and show my support because at the end of the day, when it comes to black trans lives, they are left out of the equation. And I know that because it is said by them, hence them having to do their own protest to be heard, you know, because a black trans man just died in police custody and his name is not being chanted along with George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. Allen's latest protest photos document the LGBTQ community's push for justice for Tony McDade. Allen made sure editors at Time didn't just feature his picture as another protest. He says this one was different. The most important thing about an image is that you, you, the narrative that you control with it. And I'm very adamant about the truth when it comes to my work and controlling these narratives. And I wanted people to know why we was marching because they just was going to put, you know, unrest after, you know, George Floyd. And I'm just like, no, no, no. You know, this is for George Floyd. This is for Rihanna. This is for Tony that passed away. His latest cover photo has thanks pouring in from all over social media. He says he's just proud to represent his hometown. I'm from the hood. I'm from West Baltimore, born and raised. And you can still hear me, hear me loud and clear in what I'm saying with my work. And Devin didn't go to photography school. He is completely self-taught. We asked him what's next. He'll continue to cover protest, and he's hoping for one more photograph to appear on the cover of Time magazine. In Baltimore City, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.